Working on my spiffo, Anna? Anna, you are amazing. You are the best. Spiffo is so cute. Little green one's my favorite. It's like, bruh. <laughs> I don't know why I love it so much. Why would you like a sick one the most? I don't know. You got his butt none. Oh, Anna. It does kind of remind... It is. It does bear resemblance to Prison Architect in art, but also in playability. I do believe they... Uh, they quote right on the Kickstarter page that they do take inspiration from, like, Dwarf Fortress, Prison Architect, um, Firefly, which if you have not seen Firefly and you own Netflix, go watch Firefly on Netflix because the chances are... Netflix will pick it up and run with it. Netflix picks up stuff and runs with it all the time. So if we can put the uh, views through it, we might get a second season. So here's our nutrient paste dispenser. I kind of need prison cells, though. I could make those on the outside, I guess. And that would just be extra defensibility. They're going to be smaller anyway. Yeah, I can put it here, because then I can drop a table in and some chairs. This is good space management. I like this. There's our nutrient paste dispenser. Now, we're going to have to change Walter back. Because we do need to get a lot of that stuff done. It's important. Spray can of cheese. Seems legit. <laughs> Spaz is just sleeping and watching everyone else working. I only had orange, and I had an idea of what I'm making him look like now. Awesome! Oh, don't worry, I don't want- I didn't actually expect you to make me a green one. I just thought that green one is fucking hilarious looking, and so cute. Besides, if it's gonna be a spiffo, it has to actually be orange. Otherwise, people would be like, why is your spiffo green? And I'd be like, cause he's sick. And they'd be like, you're weird. <laughs> Alright, Jambrina's finishing up there, so now what I would like to do... <clears throat> is I'm gonna have Jambrina... Drop some power conduits in. Jam. Thank you. She almost walked away. Don't walk away, Jamberina. No, that's not how the song goes. Yeah, Spazman got an early night. Look at him there. What is he thinking? He's urgently hungry. He's not happy about sharing bedrooms. He has some social chats. But he's optimistic about this new colony. Wait, why are the cells outside? Hey, Bacon Destructor! And Mr. Maverick. Wow, what happened to the game? I didn't see this. Oh, this isn't actually Prison Architect. This is RimWorld. There is no RimWorld title that I could jump into on Twitch, so I put it as Prison Architect, because it looks similar. At the moment, anyway. It won't look similar forever, obviously. These are placeholder art. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? It's kind of apt, considering what game we're playing. Alright, we've got one bedroom done. Two bedrooms done. And... Oh, the red animal crawling around. These are, um, boom rats. You really hope they don't lose their shit. Every now and then the boom rats go crazy, and they're called boom rats for a reason, right? Like, they blow up, and it's fucking painful. They start fires and shit. I hate them. <sighs> but if you, like, get the drop on them and attack them when they're out in the open... Oh, <gasps> shit, I almost forgot. I didn't get Jamborina or a gun. She's got the seven shooting, right? She's our best shootster. Spazman has a shooting of three. Walter has a shooting of three. Yeah, Jambrina is the one who's going to be responsible for fucking shit up. You can go down and encrypt your little pistol there, Jam. Bam, bam. Never seen this game before? It's still a pre-alpha on Kickstart. They've successfully been Kickstart funded, but... If you would like to have a look anyway and give a fellow Canadian... Some of your hard-earned money. 
and buy in early to this amazing game, that's where you go. Tynan Sylvester's Rimworld. Dude has seriously got this shit on lockdown. Eat them? <laughs> Yeah, these little boom rats are a pain, man. Okay, so one thing you may be noticing is that I do have a lot of food at the moment, and there is lots of food out around the map, but once that shit is picked up, unless more ships crash, that's it for food. So I need to actually make a priority now. I've got my power into my main building. I've got my geothermal. I've got a little bit of mining started. I've got the beds made, nutrient paste. The next priority is going to be growing areas. Now, you can't grow on sand can't grow on rock gotta grow on grass which can be a pain because sometimes it's hard to find a good spot to get a couple of growing areas back to back see like I can't finish that in there like I want to but three is good to start anyway Canadian and China right here awesome dude could have crip yes actually I had a ship crash onto my base the other day it did some damage I I think? I can't recall. It definitely crashed onto one of my structures. I can't remember if it did any damage. Ships crash, yeah! Canadian. <laughs> did I say that? Canadian? Sorry. We're down to 402 in terms of resources. Jamborina, she likes to go off into the desert and eat her lunch. I don't know why. Kind of eyeing each other from like across the sand. Like, look at this guy. Look at that girl. What are they thinking? <laughs> I think what I need to do, <clears throat> just to enforce team bonding, there you go. You guys get a little lunch table now next to your nutrient paste dispenser. Oh, Jam's gone for a nap. She's our resident badass, for those of you who aren't aware. Now Walter's going to go take a nap now. Later, Walter. And Spazman's finishing up construction. Are there toilets? <laughs> it's team bonding, Maverick. Oh, yeah. You are most definitely the team badass. Look at that. Seven shooting, seven hand-to-hand. -hand. That's probably the best. I think I had a character who had eight in hand-to-hand -hand once. And then her, uh, his shooting was three. So that's like the best fighter I've ever seen. Spazman's getting down to the growing. See him planting our crops. Now, sooner than later, I'm going to have to start getting into hauling large amounts of metal. Whew, not a lot of whole, not a whole lot of exposed metal, unfortunately. So we've got this stuff on mine order. We'll need to mine this as well. Do -ka -do -ka -do. There's some down here, but that's really far away to walk and pick up. I'll let them do that much first. Can you choose bigger worlds after release? I'm not 100% sure on that. I believe he said in one comment that yes, there would be bigger worlds. This is just sort of the, the level size for now. Team bondage with sex plants? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think I'm gonna put 30 into this. Awesome, dude. Thanks, Sarcastic. You're helping out a great guy. All the money that goes through the kickstart, you know, is gonna help make this game even fucking cooler than it already is. Seriously, there's a lot of meat on the bone, and, like, it's hard. I love it. I love hard games. I don't know why. 
But games that make me fucking rage out, well, no, I don't, I don't, I don't actually rage out, but the games that upset me and, like, give me permanent death situations and, you know, fuck with my head, I love it. I don't know why. It's so good. Now, I would like to finish some of this. Because I can guarantee you I'm going to have a fucking raider come soon. How many Z-levels are there? There's only one Z-level currently, but he did specifically make mention that with the Kickstart going so well, um, I think he was going to try and add more in the future. I'm not 100% on that. I would have to recheck the Kickstarter page. But he definitely made mention of it that there is only one now, but in the future there may be more. Add quote, Mr. Maverick, Team Bondage with six plants. I want to visit this planet. Welcome to my room world. <laughs> So we got Jamborina and Walter out tending the garden. Getting the planting started. It is the planting season after all. What's Spaz's hand hand skill? Three. It's not bad actually. I mean all things considered, that's not his focus. Maybe you should send the feedback things we like to see the to the creator of this game. How do you get more people? That's a funny story, Anna. That's a funny story. There's multiple ways. I will give him some feedback for certain. He was asking for feedback and stuff. There's even like a bug button on the main app, which is fucking hilarious. Makes me chuckle. It's like a little bug there. Like, right. Report a bug. Right. Um, there's multiple ways to get people. <laughs> My favorite is to knock raiders unconscious and then imprison them. That's my favorite way. Slavery and torture. You got it. <laughs> you got it, Maverick. <laughs> you imprison them and you keep them there with no contact. No talk. You just feed them. And you let them stew. And then once they've been stewing for a while, you choose what avenue you would like to approach with. Would you like to be friendly? Would you like to beat them into fear and submission? I usually go the friendly route, just because that's me. <laughs> I don't usually beat the shit out of them, but you can. And when you get their fear level up to max, you can actually fucking terrorize them into obeying you. Now, other than that, you can buy slaves from passing trade ships. Doo doo doo. Can't they just procreate like normal creatures? I've had a couple characters start, and one of their traits, uh, traits, one of their traits down at the bottom here would be pregnant. I've never actually seen birth, or seen another character appear magically. But um, I'm assuming that's something that'll come later, because you can't. It's, obviously, there's sexes, right? There's male and female characters, and you need to keep the community going, so I'm guessing they would procreate. But there's none of that in there yet. Alright. It's piss porn. I think eventually that's going to have an effect on your mood. But not yet. So we have 322 metal to work with. I think I'd like to finish more of this. We're gonna take walls. Try and make him even. Let's see from there. Is that right? Yeah. I think I'm going to drop a comm station in this room, and it's going to be my research area over here. And we're going to create some dumping areas over here so they don't have to carry that rubble all the way. Shit. Here we go. Don't have to carry that rubble all the way down. What am I missing in chat? Let me see. Let me see. I feel bad. 
Good boy.